गुड मॉर्निंग माई नेम इज़ मोहम्मद अनस वसी खान स्टूडेंट ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ लखनऊ फैकल्टी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग बी टेक फोर्थ फीएस सेवन सेमेस्टर डिपार्टमेंट सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इंट्रोड्यूसिंग यू टू द टॉपिक यू बोट टेक्नोलॉजी कंटेंट फर्स्टली वी विल आई विल डू इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ यू बोट बेटॉन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड आफ्टर डेट पार्ट्स ऑफ यू बेटॉन एंड टाइप ऑफ यू बेटॉन इंस्टॉलेशन प्रोसेस एप्लीकेशन एडवांटेजेस एंड के स्टडी एंड देन कंक्लूजन so introduction you bet on you boot technology it is uh, a recycled poly it is a, a recycled plastic polymer form work technology used for construction purposes so it create lighter economical design for structure this is used to construct two way slab large span slab mushroom slab and rough foundation in rcc structure it is suitable for high rise building hospital and parking management residential and industrial buildings now parts of u u beton there are three parts of u beton first we first we will see a spacer joint a spacer joint it is used to fix the position of u be, u boot during construction to maintain the rigid interconnection that ensure perfect geometric com compliance with the design as well as bearing capacity of form work you can see on uh, top right side here uh, it is uh, a spacer joint which is used to connect uh, below uh, diagram you can see it is used to connect the u boots uh, together uh, for their rigidity now the second second is uh, connection bridge a connection bridge is basically uh, also used to connect uh, uh two different u boots in, in in this diagram you can see that uh, the u boot is used to connect uh, connect two different boots uh, so they 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 become rigid rigid and the third is uh, by using uh, closing plate closing plate basically used uh, below the surface of a u boot now type of u beton uh, generally uh, there are two type of u beton we used uh, first is single is single u beton and the second is double u beton uh, we will see here the first uh, u beton which is a single u beton it is uh, it has only upper u beton with foot and spacer where at the height of u beton you can you can see in diagram that uh, height of uh, u beton u boot is uh, h and uh, the height of its foot is p and the space between e each of the bar is uh, s single u beton is u is available of various up uh, various u beton height and uh, foot height of base dimension 52 by 52 cm now the other one is double u beton it is it has upper both upper and lower of u boot with foot and spacer uh, and it generally consists of various uh, various size of u beton ups and downs and uh, and foot size you can see in in this diagram uh, uh, according to the required uh, required slab uh, slab height or thickness or uh, as per the construction required we can adjust the height and height of the foot uh, as well as the height of the upper boot uh, generally uh, for for uh, for uh, construction we use a 52 by 52 cm of uh, boot u boot now installation processes uh, the uh, installation purpose uh, for the u boot is shown below uh, as step wise the first step we, uh, we prefer is placing lower reinforcement above the uh, form work so in the diagram you can see that uh, we firstly pla uh, place uh, the uh, reinforcement bars uh, at, at below of our slab uh, we, uh, for uh, for construction of roof and then uh, in second step uh, we now we pl uh, now place the uh, u boot above the uh, lower reinforcement at a specific interval uh, provided by horizontal link interconnection now you can see in the diagram that uh, uh, above this above this uh, re uh, reinforcement uh, u boots are uh, placed uh, by uh, by the uh, by interconnection uh, by using the spacer joint which we have uh, seen uh, seen at past uh, to to make them rigid and at a certain interval now step 3 now uh, uh, now complete the upper reinforcement uh, which which is above the u beton so uh, after that we place uh, the uh, next next slide of uh, reinforcement uh, above the u boots and in fourth uh, fourth process we will uh, pour, pour the concrete in between them as per required in fix in fifth process we now concrete is poured and slab is ready to use and now after setting the uh, concrete we uh, will unprop the form work that is we will uh, remove the shutter uh, shuttering of, of that uh, and it is now uh, available for use in in the below diagram you can see in this diagram you can see the real uh, uh, site image 
now application uh, there are uh, um, many applications of u boot uh, where it, it has been used uh, in recent uh, in, in in recent days uh, it is firstly it is used to create large concrete span uh, which have great uh, bearing capacity it increases the spacing of column which give ma major benefits it is used in high rising commercial building hospital parking lots etc you can see blue diagrams of hospital parking lots uh, and hospital uh, and hotels where uh, u boots are used you can the, uh, see the bl uh, black portion uh, which is uh, which is shown here uh, are the u boots used uh, for making slabs and here also you can see the same now in rough foundation also u boots are used uh, it can uh, be also used in uh, rough foundation due to the following regions there are certain regions which is which why uh, in a, uh, we use a u boot in rough foundation first is uh, to increase the bearing capacity where soil have low bearing uh, capacity in this diagram you can see uh, how u boots are used uh, for increasing this bearing capacity of soil uh, can uh, can have heavy construction above this foundation concrete uh, saving as compared to making general rough foundation and uh, provided great uh, bearing capacity with lower thickness of slab uh, you can see this point in the diagram also uh, that to save the concrete uh, concrete and to uh, decrease the thickness of the slab now advantages uh, there are some adva certain advantages uh, that's why uh, you would have preferred uh, first is uh, economical advantage it, it reduces the cost of slab the re re reduce reduction of concrete consumption re reduce the steel consumption and the second is the technical advantage uh, which is fi it is fire resistant resistant effective mass of slab reduce number of column number of beam between pillar possibility to remove beam between columns uh, in this diagram you can see that figure 20 28 20b you can see that uh, 20a that many more co columns are used and in uh, b you can see that uh, by using u boot uh, you can reduce the construction cost and the pillars and uh, and columns are not that much required now uh, the next is stream earthquake resistant that is uh, it is re uh, extremely resistant resistive to the earthquake and uh, control the vibrations you can see in this diagram uh, figure 21 seismic resistance of building now the third one is architectural advantage provide larger space space uh, freedom to architectural design now here are some case studies on u boot the first uh, the first case study was published in news in newspaper uh, by daily form uh, which is uh, the uh, company uh, which own the u boot technology uh, it is uh, the future of geneva uh, where a, a hospital building was constructed uh, under construction and it has been uh, completed by uh, 2021 uh, and it was published there that 85000 square square meter of the con uh, slab construction was done uh, of hospital uh, which is very large span without using uh, much of the pillars now here is uh, an, another uh, study on u boot technology which was published in uh, in international journal of trend in research and development uh, by uh, alok prasad uh, and many other team members of uh, mtech scholar of uh, srk university bhopal india uh, in which uh, uh, they studied the u boot technology and efficiency and some test was considered uh, was uh, done by them uh, to check the stability and uh, uh, is is it effective to uh, and safe to use in construction or not and the conclusion which was drawn after the, uh, this study is that after testing the uh, different sp specimen uh, of uh, planes uh, cement concrete frc uh, frc plus uh, concrete block concrete plus frc and u boot block we reached uh, to the conclusion that u boot technology is advantageous and beneficial in construction in industry due to the fact that the structural behavior uh, in this new kind of uh, monolithic uh, flat slab will the same as that for this uh, solid slab excluding slab edge uh, column connection we surely uh, can talk about appropriate of use and advantages uh, of the new technology by using u boot technology it is possible to save large amount of concrete and steel and also possible to reduce the self weight of the structure uh, concrete used uh, by uh, they concluded that uh, the concrete which is used to uh, will be reduced by 1 kg of recycled plastic replace uh, 100 kg of concrete reducing material consumption made it possible to make it, the construction time faster 
to reduce the possibility to make the construction time faster to reduce the overall cost beside that it led to the reduce uh, dead weight up to 50% which allow creating foundation size smaller the technology is envir environmentally green and sustainable avoiding the cement production allow to reduce global carbon dioxide em emission the use of the bubble deck uh, system uh, qualify for uh, lead uh, point in north america this technology is very prospective in the modern construction and perhaps future of civil engineering belong to this new kind of uh, hollow slab published in may june 2020 and now there are some conclusions we, we can draw from uh, the this discussion that by using this technology we can save more concrete and steel by the structure in more economical which is more economical for us less use of iron niche slab pillar and foundation up to total 15 percent there are anti-seismic advantages connected to reduce building weight similar pillar and foundation there are low chances of seismic effect on the building implementation in india uh, in india recently uh, it was implemented in uh, sakti dham temple construction by uh, barukha construction uh, of 60340 square feet of uh, the area uh, which located in aurangabad maharashtra now here are some references which uh, from where I have uh, taken uh, to make this PPT. Uh, first is uh, the uh, IGTRD uh, the, uh, website and then Wikipedia and uh, the daily form which uh, which is the right owner of this uh, U-Boot technology and after that ResearchGate and U-Boot Manual 2020. Thank you.